I envisaged uh, a few guys having a bit of fun on a Saturday afternoon and, and I think it's it's grown from there and I think a lot of that growing is the calibre of the person that, that we've attracted have got kids that are bulls and, and daughters that are bulls and really pleased mm. to see that. So um, 40 years, wow. One of the things is how we value each other and how everyone has a desire to pitch in and help. The baseball is, is secondary. Um, it, it's a community. You fall over and look like an idiot <laughs> and you don't get ridiculed for it. Well, you do, but in a loving way. The Bulls' philosophy, in a nutshell, is the general inclusion of everybody. Um, we all get to play baseball equal time. We expect each and every bull player to, to be a bull. And uh, um, our job as a player is to be interactive. We all work hard during the week and I think Saturday afternoons is an opportunity to unwind, mental health break, um, camaraderie I think with friends and yeah, a bit of baseball in there and obviously, you know, um, a bit of fitness gets involved too, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fitness. Very demanding um, sport, that baseball. Used, that used to happen back in the 90s, I believe. <laughs> it's, a, it's a disappearing art. Mm. It's a, also a development thing. We have a lot of younger players out there playing with the older players. The older players pass on all the little tips and uh, we all have a great time. Being part of a good group of people, some really good guys who support you both on and off the field, Social club first, baseball second. Yeah, and and look, that's how I see it as well. It's good that Ty wants to play. You know, arguments about who's the better player, etc., or who's the least worst player. But yeah. yeah, no, it's a great environment, and the, you know, the boys have seen it and they've seen enough in it to want to do it. Through the years, as you play in different teams, you you, you get to make a lot of friends, um, and they're the type of friends that uh, I think will last a long time. You know, we play against. 14, 16 year olds and all the way up to 50, 80 year olds. 60 year olds. So, you know, it's a wide range. I think it's a good way for, you know, guys our age, I think, to learn a bit of respect and Definitely. for the game. So, it becomes an extension of your own family. I think one of the biggest things for me is the mentoring of the young the young guys for the majority of where Josh is in his baseball career at the moment as far as pitching Div 1 and his opportunity to go to Czech Republic to play baseball. I really attribute that to Bulls baseball. The most recent one was uh, the Wooden Spooners game uh, in the 2016 season. So Wooden Spooners, the two uh, teams that uh, were uh, bottom of the table, so six and seven played off, um, I think it was before the semi-final, and uh, suggestion was that we uh, we got dressed up in uh, fancy dress. So, you know, to have uh, everyone from a SpongeBob to a Mr. Incredible to a T-Rex to uh, to Jimmy, our, uh, our umpire for the day, uh, wearing a half um, bull's um, um, costume, which made him, Jim's obviously uh, not uh, the tallest of, uh, of, of the individuals in the club, um, and so when he was standing still, it looked like he was actually, the bull was grazing. The costumes were brilliant, but none more so than the sight of a guy in a full T-Rex costume playing shortstop and doing a pretty magnificent job for a guy who only had little arms. Uh, <laughs> The other one I will, will bring up at this point in time is Bob Booker, looking up into the clouds. <laughs> yes. when, when we'd go out to play baseball and it was very threatening and he'd go, there's no rain in those clouds and down it came. You could almost... And was it washed out? Yes. Yep. You, and, could, you could count on it. You could yeah, bet on it. Yeah. So yeah. thank you, Bob, for that. Yeah. yeah. Look, some of the funniest things Ty would have seen at, at baseball was me fielding at second. <laughs> Or maybe. I don't know. What are the funniest things you've seen? There? I don't know. That is like a bad scene out of the Special Olympics. <laughs> yeah, when you see me play, I know mentally a lot of people have the Benny Hill music playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's, there's lots of funny things. Some of it's been uh, at the expense of others, but a lot of times it's just been about guys making fun of each other. Again, about uh, past president Bill Magoo. Uh, looked at a 
pretty good fastball down the outside edge and I rang him up on strike three and he was not pleased, I could see that. He would tell you it was an edge, but uh, we all know that it was three feet outside the plate. So I just looked at him and <laughs> shrugged and walked away. And uh, my next at bat, I came with uh, two taps, uh, two bats taped together. So he had about six or seven feet of wood that he could swing at it. <laughs> and what I should have said, but I wasn't quick enough to get Bill, what I should have said is I can go further than that. <laughs> but that was one of the funniest I've seen. <laughs> oh, some of the funniest things I've seen is the people in this room trying to hit a ball. Or filled one. And you think after 40 years, Froggy would get better, but. No. <laughs> Realistically, just to be able to take the vision that, that others have had and, uh, and build on that to, to ensure that we've got something that we can pass down to the, the new generations coming through. Everyone has to be involved, whether it's, whether it's cooking a barbecue or whether it's helping out um, setting up the grounds or, or scoring, whatever it might be, you know, they need to be involved. They can't just come along and play. So more of that, more of getting more involved in the community. 40 years on, I think uh, one of the advantages that um, the Bulls have got is they've got the recipe right. You've got men looking after the interest of other blokes, especially the young blokes. Uh, it's not something that you can force in a club. People actually have to want to do it and that recipe exists there and it's been fostered by the leadership team including Martin and uh, that legacy I think will live on for quite a while because it's a, it's a strong enough culture now that I don't think it can be uh, washed away very quickly. I've enjoyed every moment of it. Um, and I will continue to enjoy it. I may not play much longer, but I'll be around. Uh, and, you know, like all of the, the, the guys that put in, um, it makes the club successful too. Without getting too, too... Um, Don't get emotional. No, Don't no, no. Emotional. <laughs> but I, I think, I, I really believe each one of us has, have enriched our lives through the experience of being a bull. Yeah, can I say that there's been some health issues for some of us and there's, there's, been, there's been some divorces and there's been some troubled times and there's been a lot of support from mm. fellow bulls during that time, Definitely. hasn't there? Definitely. Yeah, and that's helped us all get through. So for that I say thank you and I think Phil would too. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. My tattoo, I did it because um, the bulls meant a lot to me.